you're found, okay? And especially working on the project of St. Ben, which is quite, a, how, how long have you been working on, on this project for? And, you know, how did you get uh, into the work of St. Ben as well as yeah. a specialist area? As a specialist area, because when I did the MA in French and Francophone Studies, mm -hmm. um, we were asked to look at a particular area of French um, colonialism, mm -hmm. either North Africa, so that was Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, mm -hmm. because that's the Maghreb. You also look at Sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, um, Togo, Cameroon, okay. or go into the Caribbean. I was quite um, t tempted to go into the Caribbean because I thought it would be actually a good excuse to go and do research in Martinique, mm -hmm. you know, holiday, and then I had a real thing to myself yeah. and said, well, I need to really kind of focus on what's closer to me, you yeah. know, in Sub-Saharan Africa. Um, fortunately, I speak French, and I looked and I picked Senegal for all kinds of reasons. Mm -hmm. Senegal was the capital of French West Africa mm -hmm. in those days, Dakar. So because Dakar was that capital, all the colonial archives and the home of the governor general, yeah. you know, would also be in Dakar. All the education, all the... Um, so you find it that the writers, actually yeah. the core writers that have come out of Francophone literature, happen to all come from Senegal. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's the home of Lisundor, it's still the home what, of a yeah, lot, you know. It's, Senegal has a very rich culture. Yes. And yeah. also it was because of that colonial, um, it had mm -hmm. that kind of contact as well, mm -hmm. you know. So it flourished in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at, um, but for some reason, my work, you know, on the master's mm -hmm. um, thesis was actually looking at student revolutions and movements in the 1960s, because mm -hmm. you had the civil rights movement that happened in the United States, you had yeah. May 66 in Paris, mm -hmm. and I was curious enough to, to find out, you know, what was going on in West Africa at that time. Surely there must have been an anti-colonial struggle. Mm -hmm. The documents on the ground were actually few and far between, and I thought there's something actually not right over here. Mm. How come I can't find information? I started really reading through um, a kind of left-wing writers, you know, yeah. or academics who were actually writing on student movements at that time, and they found. I found it through the readings that the only writer at that time who had actually captured. Mm and he had to write it in, in through a novel, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a romantic clef, you know, kind of um, a satire, yeah. was Usman Semben. Yeah. And I started reading through his books and only to find out that he was the only writer that dared, after the independence, to yes. challenge the new era of government. Yeah. The only way he could also do it and get away with it, in a sense, was to do it through humour. Mm. satire or you know irony yeah mm -hmm. and because I had knowledge of Senegalese history mm -hmm. I started reading against Sen Ben's work mm -hmm. and you could see that for every single writing mm -hmm. or film he's done there was actually a particular error what he was actually questioning yeah so you with Sen Ben you know you look at his films and they're all humorous but you kind of look behind yeah. and find that he's actually had a lot to say yeah and because of his Marxist background, you know, he trained in Moscow, he actually uses a lot of realism, mm -hmm. you know, so there's so much kind of um, film techniques as well mm -hmm. that yeah. comes across, you know, and it's very refreshing to be able mm -hmm. to actually read this, you know, read or watch a film and I can say, oh my goodness, you know, he's actually having a go, you know, I mean, having a go is actually very sort of, um, you know, um, I'm, being very, um, I'm being very nice, but mm. it's really critiquing, you know, yeah. and criticising, but not only criticising, yeah. but also making his audience aware, because it's not just really going to watch a film and coming out and saying, oh, yeah. it's really making sure that people are aware of his work. Okay, okay. So, basically, it's like a trail, a trail of thought because that came from the curiosity of why there was no repercussion, why there was no um, response to what was happening 
you know, in, in the distant, um, well, in the neighbouring countries. In the neighbouring countries. In terms country. of the, you know. Because the there, was a, there was an anti-colonial, you know, um, at that time, the 60s, mm. you know, was really around the time of independence. Mm. And a lot of, um, you know, a lot of um, African countries mm. and by 60, 61 were becoming a bit um, discontent mm. with their leaders. Yeah. And yeah. students were still heavily politicized, you know, at you know at that time. Mm -hmm. um, Senegal had um, also a lot of um, alignment with the um, PCF, which is the French Communist Party. Okay. And I know that there were a lot of right um, intellectuals, French intellectuals, you yes. know, who actually were trying to get a colonial, you know, trying to get you know the young students as well yeah. to have you know to be aware. Okay. of um, being kind of tied to the colonial capitalist system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But literature at that time was so sparse on my area of work. Okay. So it was really kind of digging beyond the surface. And mm -hmm. now, um, in three of his books, mm -hmm. you could tell that when he's talking about student rising, he kind of mentions those times. Mm -hmm. um, the Last of the Empire was um, Ohala, a film that we'll be looking at. Yes. There's a big beggar strike. I mean, the, just kind of going into one, um, you know, the house of an elite, and they just com completely kind of hold him to ransom. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of an allusion, you mm -hmm. know, to that era mm -hmm. of discontent in Senegal. Mm -hmm. So you've kind of got to read it in those kind of lines as well, that he was actually making those kind of statements that, this is really what was going on.